Families in Mosby, Excelsior Springs, and Kearney are cleaning up after the flash flood spread muddy water throughout their towns. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach found several families working today to make sure that they are safe with the possibility of even more rain. Sarah. And Mike, they're still working right now. Yesterday, that water would have been up to my waist, but now I'm waist deep in sand bags. 268 of them. Look at Lee Brown. He's still working tonight, trying to protect his basement because he knows any rain that comes in through here could mean a flash flood for he and his family. It started with an urgent text from Lee Brown's 11 year old. Her text says, We need sandbags now. Water from Clear Creek was flowing fast into Brown's backyard. His first call, the hardware store. Asked them if they had any sand. They said, we've got play sand. And I says, OK, we'll take all of it. All 268 bags. He and his family stacked them high, trying to keep their basement dry. It worked. In nearby Mosby, Daniel Rosh is finally returning home from a hotel where he and his wife were forced to stay after the last flood damaged their house. And as much rain as we've got lately, it's always been, is it going to get worse? Is it going to keep going and going? Are we going to be able to come home? The mayor of Mosby says there's little his town can do to avoid the next flood. They'll start cleaning out these ditches, but even then... That'll help some, but when you have a flood like this, of this magnitude, there's nothing you really you can do. For now, most people in Mosby are relying on prayer to keep the rain at bay. We all get nervous. I mean, you know, we just, and we are, everybody's on watch. And these sandbags cost the family more than a thousand dollars and they do plan to keep them up throughout the rest of the summer because they do want to remain safe. Reporting live here in Kearney, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.